Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to unlock the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. This is actually locked to AT&T, and you can see there's the AT&T symbol there as well. And the device, if I want to use it worldwide, I'll need to have it unlocked so I can put in a T-Mobile SIM or any other GSM SIM card as well. Now, in order to do that, there's a couple different steps, and I'm going to walk you through that. So the first thing we need to do is get our IMEI number. And to do that, we go to the phone dialer, and we put in star pound zero six pound. What it does is pops up the IMEI and in this case, the serial number. And we take this number and actually submit it to a website and they'll give us an unlocking code back. Now, in order to do that, I chose the unlockingcompany.com. And what you do is take this number, put it in their website, and I'll show you how to do that right now. We're at the unlockingcompany.com. And the first thing we need to do is select our phone manufacturer. In this case, it's Samsung. Then we'll need to select our phone model. There's a lot of Samsung phones, so just keep scrolling until you find the S6 Edge in this case. And there's different ones depending where you live. So here's all countries or EU carrier locked. We'll click on unlock code for all countries. I'll hit get unlocking code. On this screen, we actually need to select where it was purchased from as far as the country goes. There's quite a few here. I'm in the United States. Then we need to select the carrier we got it from. In this case, it's actually AT&T. Once we have that, we'll need to put in our IMEI code. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you have your IMEI number in place, you just need to click on Get Unlocking Code. On this screen, it gives you the opportunity to pay for the unlock code. And for this particular one, it's $39.99, but it can vary depending on your country. And delivery time is one to three days. And again, that could vary depending on your country and carrier. So once you pay for this, your code will be sent to you via PayPal email. Now that you have the unlock code from the unlockingcompany.com, what you'll need to do is place that into the phone. Now it took me about 24 hours, maybe even less, but that's going to depend on which carrier and which country you're in. So it can vary. So just be aware of that, but I got it back pretty quickly. And this particular device is pretty simple to unlock like most of them. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to power it off. And we'll take out the old SIM card and place a T-Mobile SIM card in it so we can unlock it. So just take the SIM card you have from the device you want to go to or basically from the carrier you want to switch to. We'll take out the AT&T card you can see here. We'll swap it with a T-Mobile card that I have here. So you can see there's a T-Mobile card. We'll place it back in and then we'll boot the device up. We have to wait for it to boot and then we can put in the new code that we received. The phone is booted up and you can see it says invalid SIM card. Now I need to unlock it. And I unlocked it and this one has the fingerprint reader. So that's what you were seeing here, but immediately it jumps to SIM network unlock pin. So in order to use this SIM card, we actually have to unlock the phone. Now to do that, we're going to use that code that we got from the unlocking company and we'll just tap here. It'll bring up the keyboard and we'll put in the SIM pin. Now, in order to do this, just be very careful that you get the numbers exactly right. You only have about 10 tries to do that and it will permanently lock. So let's go ahead and put that number in now. I've got the number in Now I'm going to hit unlock. It says network unlock successful, and now it's permanently unlocked. So we'll wait for it here. It takes a second to recognize the SIM and register on their network. Let me turn off Wi-Fi. Now that Wi-Fi is off, you can see we have 4G LTE and this is T-Mobile 4G. And let's go ahead and go to a web page. So it was defaulted to Yahoo, but let's go to Zolotech.com. We'll load. We'll give it a moment and you can see it's loading off the network now and we're using the T-Mobile SIM card. And this method is permanent, so you don't have to worry about it relocking. It will stay unlocked and you can use it on any GSM carrier worldwide. I use the unlockingcompany.com and I'll leave a link to them in the description below. But if you have any other comments or questions, let me know in the comments as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.